What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoja Fine Jewelry, Shore Personal Jewelry. In this video, I want to talk about the realistic expectations while wearing a link style chain. There are some cons that might turn some people off and prevent you from buying a link chain. So I want to break it down in this video because the link chains are so popular and you need to know some of these things before purchasing. With that being said, Let's get started. Before we get started, I use different chains from different manufacturers to show that this is not a quality issue, but more so the style of the chain, which is a link style chain. If you look at the profile of the chains I use today, they are perfect. These chains hang straight. They are very high quality chains. I know someone will be in the comment section saying it's because of X, Y, and Z, but 90% of the people that are buying chains, they're all machine made, made in Italy. So they're all kind of the same. It's just a fact that it is a link chain that does this. Why are link chains so popular? Because visually I feel like they offer the most. Just check me out, nine millimeter flat curve, 22 inch. This is solid gold, check. This is made in Italy, check. This is from Jacoji.com, check. It's everything you would want to get a nice looking gold chain. But if link chains were perfect, then all we would do is sell link chains. But we sell more rounded chains, ropes, Franco's heavy links than we do link chains and we do stock the world's best link chains. That's for sure because of some slight issues that consumers like yourself researching on what to buy might run into and be concerned about. Please keep everything I say with a grain of salt. Guys, I've been making YouTube videos for seven years with over 600 YouTube videos when I first started talking about the difference between a flat curve and a figro and now here we are in this present day talking about minor, minor, minor details on link chains. But for me personally, it's something I've learned and I want to share these fine details because I feel like it'll help somebody out there. So here we go. The first thing I want to talk about is a small little slight wink that a link chain will have while wearing it. And this is something I've noticed ever since I put on my new five and a half millimeter diamond cut Jacoja curve, 26 inch. It's a little bit longer, but I'll show the B-rolls of this happening with the nine millimeter flat curve and my five and a half millimeter Jacoji curve. I'll point it out across the screen as you can see, as you're wearing this, and I know this might bother some, it kind of folds somewhere, usually on the bottom, and offers a little wink. Now, is this a big deal to me personally? Not really, but I know some people will have the expectation of, because most of the time when you're watching jewelry clips, you see perfect models wearing a chain that's perfectly laid out and centered and looks good. That's your expectation, but I'm here to tell you right now that your link chain will fold and give everybody a nice little wink like it does across the screen, and that just is what it is. Even though it has tight links, and even though, trust me, this thing hangs straight, it's still going to do that. Now, things change as you get a solid 10 millimeter handmade Miami Cuban link that is heavy and it just lays on your chest like a brick, but 90% of the people out there buying and wearing link chains aren't gonna go with that chain. They're gonna go with something like I'm wearing in this video, and that is the realistic expectation there. Let's up the weight slightly with a seven millimeter tri-color Miami Cuban link. This is a beautiful chain. But as I move around, you see it kind of folds in towards my neck. And this is something, no matter if I'm wearing a Miami Cuban Link, a flat curve, a Jacoji curve, a yacht link, this happens. So it will move around, guys. You can't expect the chain to lay perfectly. There's gravity, you move around. That chain just kind of rolls. And that is why a lot of people like the rounded style chains because as it rolls and because they're diamond cut, it actually helps the chain. But with the link chain, it kind of sh changes the shape and lay of that chain as you move around. And that is something I want to point out because it does happen. If we check out the almighty four millimeter Miami Cuban link, our best selling link chain that we offer. It's great for a lot of people starting out and a lot of people watching this will go with this chain right here and I recommend it. Check me out wearing it. It looks nice. But as I move around again up top near my neck, just it gets hung in the collar and it kind of folds over and it causes a coil effect with this chain, especially if you've two chain and I've noticed it a lot since I added that five and a half millimeter Jacoji curve with my everyday five and a half millimeter flat curve, these chains kind of get tangled near the back of my neck and it causes them to fold over, creating that little fold or wink. On my way this morning, I came up with the phrase wink because I wanted to add something that wasn't negative to this because it doesn't have to be. If you accept it for what it is, link chains move around, they could fold, they could roll, 
then it is just what it is and you won't see it as such a negative thing, which I personally don't think it is. If it folds over, you kind of just readjust it when you need to and just let it be. As long as it's a high quality, nice looking chain, nobody cares, you will not notice it. If you start putting in your head that it kinks and it's this and that, then you're gonna get mad and negative about it. So that's why I just said it winks because it's just cool. It is what it is. But the other issue you may have that rhymes with wink is kink. Now this is kind of different where a link chain will get, especially the tight link chains, they'll get kinked up and kind of knotted on your neck and you have to wiggle them around to get them loose. Now, I honestly tried to get that to happen with these chains and nothing was working. It's like when you have a problem, you go and all of a sudden the expert's there no matter what it is and that problem is not present, you can't diagnose it. That's what happened, I was like, come on, kink, 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 nothing was happened. Just this slight little fold, like I said, you kind of put it back and you're good to go again. But with some chains, they could kink and not and that comes a little bit more irritable as far as wearing and comfort. You don't want to have a chain that is knotted around your neck. That is not the intent. You want to have something that lays relatively flat. Yes, it may fold a little bit, but overall you don't want a chain to kink and get knotted and just be stuck there like that because that can happen with link chains. Is this a deal breaker? Should you buy a link chain or pass because of the slight issues? I don't think so personally. Here is my five and a half flat curve. If I count quickly, I've been wearing this daily. Never taken off, only except doing B-rolls and stuff for 15 years and it does not bother me, but the same thing happens. Just look at it right there. It's winking at y'all. So that, it doesn't bother me. I don't think, if you like something like this, go with it. And you have to trust that here at jacoji.com, we stock high quality chains. It's just the nature of the beast. So if you want something to sit perfectly and be perfect, like you see in the pictures, then maybe consider a rounded style chain because that way you don't have to worry about it. If it rolls or folds, that's what it's designed to do. And that's why they're so popular because some people are indecisive and they just go with the safe bet, which is not a problem. Those are beautiful chains as well. But if you're okay with it moving around you just you're gonna accept it then of course go with the link chain because like I said to me they're the most stylish to me you get the most look it's classy easy to tuck in wear it daily under the shirt neck profile all that good stuff let me know down below if you have the same issues if it bothers you, if you doesn't thank you for watching that's it for today's video see you on our next jewelry video